Hi folks, um, this is the fifth video in the series Click View Date and Time. Um, check out the other four videos on YouTube. Um, this one is going to go few, through a few things. Um, we've taken in an Excel file and you can see the day is not reading correctly. So, if you just have a quick look at the Excel file, you can see the reason why is because there's a formula in there. So, we're just going to show you quickly Control and E to go to the script. So, we say weekday. As day and press control and R to reload. You can see it's now reading the day. So next thing it's gonna show you a quick uh, text object. So we say we want the sum of the value but we only want the value for let's say Mondays. So we would say we do some set analysis and we would say day equals single quotes on so we click OK click OK again you can see that this text, uh, text object is now showing um, the, the total value for um, Mondays and you can see over here Monday is 3645 so we copy this and when we change Monday to uh, Tuesday should get the value matching here three four six four. Yeah, we do so. Um, let me just go back into the script and just, we need months, so I'm going to add month from the date. So we say month. Ah. On date as month, which we put in a comma, control on R. We just add month as a list box. So now we've got month there. So, uh, for this, the main kind of uh, reason for this video is to show how to get the sum of values from the previous month. So, we're in month of June, so we're looking for all the values for May. So, we click on May, you can see. They are, that's 6.45 for Monday, 8.14 for Tuesday. Um, but we want the total value for May in, it, in like a text object. So the best way to see if this is working is to actually create a straight, ta uh, straight table. The, we're going to add a calculated dimension because we don't want a dimension at the moment. We just want to test to see if it works. So we just put in two single quotes. Let's click next. And we're going to type in the following. So we create a we create our set analysis um, so the date equals so we we basically want to sum the value where the date is greater than um one date and less than another date so we would type in uh, where the value is, so we use set analysis, two single quotes, we will say greater than, equal to dollar, open parenthesis, equals, close parenthesis, and then we say the less than part of it, so it's just same thing again, we say less than, equal to dollar sign, open parenthesis, equals Close parenthesis. Let's close that. So now, if we in front of this put in sum and then value, you see at the moment it's saying the expression is okay, so everything looks good. What we need to put in is we need to put in the month start. For the max date minus one and month end for the max date minus one it should give us uh, every value for the previous month so we say month start max date and then comma minus one and after this equal to sign we say 
month end max and product date and then after that the close friend says after date you say comment minus one so we click OK and click finish if we just hover over with the, this the expression you can see it's actually picking up um, greater than equal to the first of May because this is the, the date is an American date so it's uh, it's month day year 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 so it's you can see it's from the first of May to the thirty first of May and the value is four two three six um now we added month so if we actually go into this pivot table here and we get rid of the dimension for day and add month you can see May is four two three six and the value here is four two three six. So again, if we go into properties and go into the expression, if we change this to minus two and this one to minus two, and click OK, and hover over, you can see it's actually reading the whole month of April. So it's pretty much good for last month or last three months, I suppose. Or I'm gonna come out that here. Probably not in this expression. Um, but again, you can see so two months ago or last month, the, the previous month before that, and then you could maybe add divide one by the other to see the difference, percentage difference between April and May. So. I hope that helps and what you should always do is create a straight table, create a blank dimension and then put in your expression and leave the label blank because if you if we give that a label and click OK, it won't it won't give us the expression to tell us that it's working, so if we go back, get rid of that label and then click OK again. It kind of guides us to say, actually, yeah, it's doing the right thing. It's doing what we wanted to do. So, um, I hope that helps, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.